it's time for another box. And today's box is very simply Geek Gear. Yes, Geek Gear. We've been doing this box for ever? I don't know. We've been doing it for a very long time. And it's been a fairly good box. At times it's been a not so good box. And then recently they've sort of pulled it back. And I was happy about that. And then I must have missed something. Because I thought this was 19.99, and I looked the other day, and it said 24.99. When did that happen? Why did that happen? Who, what, and other things? Am I the only one who noticed this? Is there a reason? Let me know, because I obviously missed it. But it does have the most satisfying part of any box, which is this. <laughs> that bit. That is just that's my favourite bit of the box. Well, it's not my favourite bit of the box. The stuff in that. We'll just get on with it. So 24.99. No theme. Used to have themes, now they don't. So, we will grab things and see what we have. The first thing is a t-shirt with silhouettes on. Oh, okay. I can see what this is. It's gonna be Avengers based. Because of course, Avengers Infinity War, it's still out. It's gonna be out for ages. It's already made over a billion in like 11 days or something. It's insane. Probably won't challenge Avatar or Titanic because, I don't know, probably won't. But, it's a good film. Go and see it. And there we have a nice t-shirt with Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. If you've seen the film, there might be an issue with that t-shirt. It's not very Avengers Infinity War based, but hey, still, it's not bad. I quite like the silhouette design using the sort of blank space for the characters. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, I, I actually like that more than I thought I was going to like it. That's kind of cool. I think I'm starting to like t-shirts that are either really extreme and have amazing patterns and details, or very, very simple. And that... That's really nice, and as always, t-shirts about a tenner. We'll move on for item two. By the way, I've had this box, I don't know, maybe last week. I just haven't had time to unbox it. There's so much going on right now that sometimes these videos are going to be delayed or take a little while to go up, and there might be days when they're out in the... But anyway, four items. It's a... It's a thing. It's a thing that says cushion covers. So there we go, cushion covers. Haven't had cushion covers in a while. In fact, I think it's maybe the only box I've ever had cushion covers in. And they were very good. We got two. So, I don't know. Let's see what they are. <gasps> Ooh, haha. I know what that one is. Well, let's do this one first, because I know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's aliens. Oh, come to me. Yes. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I like it. I like that. That's not bad at all. It's an alien or a xenomorph, xenomorph sort of head. I do like that. Aliens, of course, 1979, Ridley Scott. Uh, Scorny Weaver shot her to superstardom. Brilliant, brilliant film. The first Alien is a great horror film. The sequel, Aliens, is a great action film. Alien 3 isn't that bad for what it is, but it could have been better. And we don't talk about any of the rest. And I'm not counting Prometheus or Alien Covenant. They're completely separate to me, but they're okay for what they are. But Alien is brilliant. And if you want proper Alien stuff, read the box or look at the Dark Horse comic stuff because that stuff is brilliant. But yeah, I, I like that. So if you wanted cushion covers and you're into this kind of stuff, that's not bad. But the second one, the second one is, I'm going to guess this is going to be either alien based or predator based because most people put a predator thing in. It's predator based. That's cool. I, I was obsessed with Predator as a kid. Uh, 1987, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Didn't catapult him to stardom. He was already a star. And predator, fantastic film. The Predator was originally played by Jean-Claude Van Damme and it was a weird lizard thing and it was awful and then they got rid of it and then it was this guy and it was uh, Kevin Peter Hall. He was awesome. He was in Harry and Henderson's and other things like that. Uh, he died. Very sad. But the film is awesome. Yes, it is a kind of hunter helmet for Predator, which is awesome. He's, like, he's got to be one of the most iconic characters around, I think. I love the Predator with his weird cackling noises and his infrared vision. He's just, he's an awesome character. Terrible, terrible films after the first one. Second one was a bit, uh, and then we just don't speak of anything else Predator's been in. Ever. At all. But I like it. Again, simple design, but kind of cool. Uh, what would you pay for a pillowcase? Like three quid each or something? So six quid there? That's not bad. It's not a pillowcase. It's a cushion. Just have to remind myself there. Right, next item is the pin. Wow, that's a big pin. It's the Infinity Gauntlet from Avengers Infinity War, Thanos' weapon of mass destruction. Uh, that's not bad. That's like, that is a big pin. That's actually kind of cool. Very nice quality. I'm surprised. Please do a collection of pins with this XL high quality soft enamel pin. There's three versions, but I, I, I could not tell you the difference between them. 
original, silver, gold. They all look exactly the same. Am I missing something? I'm not giving it any value, by the way, because I think it's just it's just a pin. I mean, you could say it's two quid, five or ten pounds, whatever. It depends what people buy it for. But I, maybe a quid at most. I just don't put value on pins usually. Still, it's quite a nice pin. But more things are waiting, so let's get in with... Uh, oh, we've had these before. Disc plates. They're like metal plates. And they've got a magnet on the back. You can stick them. And that is Thor. Uh, I've seen these in various sizes as well. You get small ones and medium and big. I think these are about 10. I've seen the huge, huge ones like this. They're like 50, 60 quid. They're mad. Very nice, though. Like, I love the painting of Thor. Thor first appearing in... Oh, 1961, if I rack my brain. Son of Odin. Originally, he was like... Well, I can't remember the original plot now. I think in the comics, I'm probably wrong. He was sent to Earth by Odin with no memory of his god of his sort of godly powers. And he was a broke and he had a cane. And then I don't remember anything. I remember the animated series, he banged his cane and he turned into Thor. It's very weird. Now, obviously, he's, he's just a demigod. So, you know, but that's kind of cool. And he's awesome in Infinity War. In fact, Infinity War could, in fact, just be called Thor Infinity War because I think he's one of the main characters. Still... Very cool, very nice, lovely detail. About a tenner, maybe? Let us continue with item... Nope, no idea. Can't remember. One day I'll learn to count and that will be an amazing video. Yes, Joe Warlock learns to count. It'd be, it'd be really fun. Oh, that is nice. Mm, yeah, okay. I don't know what it is suddenly, but everyone's doing limited edition coins. I don't have a problem with that. I think they're kind of nice. They're nice little collectible things. This one, Sea of Thieves. Limited edition coin, limited to 9,995. Oh, that's a lot. Embossed on both sides. Both sides? Can't even speak. Yeah, and we can see there's like a skull on the one side, and then a northeast, southwest compass on the other. Sea of Thieves, a rare game on Microsoft. You play a pirate, and you go around, and you kill other pirates, and you sink ships, and you raid islands. And there's not a lot to it, to be honest. It's kind of weird. I would have thought there'd be like huge amounts to do, uh, but I think we may have been spoiled with Assassin's Creed 4 when it came to pirate games. That was like the, the total pirate game was Assassin's Creed 4. But this is still really fun for a multiplayer game. Not so much if you're a single player. But I do very much like that coin. That's actually really nice. It's got an antique finish to it. Yeah, not bad. Sea of Thieves coin. 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 Nope. I'm, I'm not going through this again. I can't say the word. This thing. Uh. I've seen these for like £14, I think, so that's good value if you like collectible coins. And to be honest, I prefer them to the Funkos and everything that have been in for ages. So as long as these don't go on forever, that's fine. But yeah, it's not bad. Right, uh, uh, oh, yep, there is something else. There's a lot in this box. Oh, this is the print. Can I? Oh, I got it out. Fantastic. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. That's not bad at all. I've said before, Geek Gear do fantastic prints. And they haven't let us down. With Chris Evans as Captain America. Avengers Infinity War. It's very cool. Prince, about a fiver. And as I've said, Avengers Infinity War is brilliant. Captain America, he should be the most boring character in existence. I mean, he's not the most exciting character anyway, but it's Captain America. It sounds really cheesy, but he's actually really good. Unlike Captain Britain, who's... Let's not talk about Captain Britain. I really wish they make a film of it, but it would have to be a comedy because it's just... I don't know, Captain Britain? and Captain Brexit or something soon. So, in this month's Geek Gear box, we had Captain America Infinity War print, Thanos Infinity Gauntlet, Sea of Thieves coin, Thor Displate, Cushion Covers, Avengers Infinity War T-shirt. Simple enough, about, I think, 45 quid worth, I think, probably, not including the pin, put another pound on or something for that. It's not bad. I like the cushion covers, somewhere different. I like the print, kind of cool. T-shirt, good, that, yep. Yeah, I like the majority of this box, yeah, well done. I don't remember when your price went up to $24.99, but I'm glad you're getting the value in. And it's probably more than that, so you probably got double your value almost. That's not bad at all, but I want to know what you think. Do you get Geek Gear? Do you like Geek Gear? Do you like these things? Let me know in the comments below. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Geek out, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications and all that stuff that it does.